Let's say you want to create this kind of visualization in Blender. For that, you can use the CSV importer extension, and here's how. First, we go to Blender, we open the settings and type CSV and install this extension. Now we can go to the Finder and simply drag and drop the CSV file into the viewport and it will show up here in the outlier. Now we can uh, inspect this spreadsheet in the Blender spreadsheet and we will find certain columns, we will find 12,000 rows and in the viewport we will find that all our 12,000 points are currently at the origin. And next we want to set the position of these nodes and that's why we use a geometry nodes setup and use the set position node. And we want to set the position based on these attributes here. So first I take a named attribute node called longitude normalized and the second one will be our latitude normalized. These can be combined into a vector x and y and finally I have an offset here and this is now our data points in Blender. Another thing I want to show you is that this is quite fast. Here I have another data set of 113 MB and when I drag this one into the viewport then it takes about 200 milliseconds in order to import 1 million data points and that's because the underlying Python package Polars is quite optimized for importing and processing data so this is where the performance comes from. Last but not least I want to show you another setup which you already saw in the thumbnail. This is this visualization here. And here we don't use normalized data, but we normalize the data in the geometry nodes setup itself by using this bounding box. Here we use um, some simple math nodes. And here we add cylinders in order to get this view here. Um, in order to get this overall design, I added two lights, one red light, one yellow light, and one area light from the button.